Hi there, this is Venkat Subramanyam, programmer, trainer, consultant, and author of multiple books including test driving JavaScript applications. As programmers, we constantly change code. We make enhancements, we improve on features, we add new features, and of course we fix bugs. The most dreadful question we get asked is, does it work after these code changes? I hope it's not a good answer. We need to be able to answer with confidence that things are working. We can get that confidence using automated test cases. Automated test cases can give us rapid feedback loops. If you're into JavaScript programming and using the mean stack, and if you're interested in automated testing, this is going to be of interest to you. Let's take a look at an example. What I have here is an express application running using MongoDB on the server side and Angular 2 on the client side. It was written using automated test cases. Let's run the server side test. I'm not even running the server right now, but that doesn't stop us from running the server side test. Mocha is running the test and telling us everything is going okay. But what if we make a change to the server side code? Let's change the routes. The test immediately tells us that's not what was expected. So new tests can give us feedback that new code is working fine, while at the same time, existing tests can tell us that existing code works fine. So we can make sure that things are working fine all the time on the server side. But what about the client side? We can run the client side test using Karma, and it can run those tests within browsers. Here it's running within Chrome and telling us things are working fine. Let's go to Angular 2 component. It's sorting a piece of data before displaying it on the HTML page. For whatever reason, let's say we remove the sorting code. Well, we change the code, and immediately we get a feedback that things are not going well from the test. We can make sure that current code works fine as we make changes and make enhancements. And you can see the tests are passing. Well, we tested the client-side code without even running the server. That's a pretty rapid feedback. Fewer moving parts, fewer errors, ease of you know, testing. But we can't get complacent that things are working fine just by testing them in isolation. We want to make sure that everything is working fine together as well. So how do we do that? Well, we got that covered using Protractor. Protractor can run uh, for us the integration testing end-to-end, -end, and it brings up the browser keys and data and checks if the response was as expected. Well, we can use this not only to make sure things are wired properly in the backend and from the client to the server, but also the HTML page is doing stuff properly. What if we don't wire the HTML properly to the JavaScript? We don't have to manually run the code to know this. Protractor can immediately tell us when things are not going well by showing us a broken test. So this tells us that we can get a very rapid feedback when things are not going well. But wait a minute, the integration testing would require the server to be running. Well, there's a reason we call it automated testing after all. We don't want to manually create the server that can be automated as well. Well, automation testing can take some effort, but it's just a skill. It's a skill we can develop. If you're interested in upping your skills for automation testing, of JavaScript code, please take a look at test driving JavaScript applications. Thanks for listening.